What's going on everyone? This is Slackerman with another diecast model review. Today we are looking at an, another Itolari diecast model. This is the H, uh, HH60G Pavehawk. So basically this is a variant of the uh, Blackhawk helicopter. Um, I believe this is the uh, Air Force variant. Um, so Itolari, obviously in my previous review, uh, it is, I keep repeating myself so I apologize, but one of my favorite diecast model companies and I'm starting to uh, collect more and more now that I found a seller uh, actually in Italy who's got more of the uh, hard to find ones. So this is one I really wanted. Uh, so let's take a look. Again, like my previous F-35A uh, review, this also comes with the uh, Italian magazine and then comes with the blister and then the, uh, the stand, so very cool. So the difference between um, the regular Black Hawk and uh, the Pave Hawk. Um, I'm not a big uh, uh, Pave Hawk buff, so I didn't really research it or read up on it before this review. But just the obvious things that are different to me are the external uh, fuel tanks and then the big uh, air uh, refueling uh, nozzle here. Um, so I believe maybe the uh, the weight and some of the uh, the engines, maybe that's a little different. Maybe it can carry more weight. Um, again, I didn't research to see what the big differences are between the Pavehawk and the Blackhawk. However, I really love the design of the Pavehawk uh, for the uh, the big external uh, fuel tanks and the big uh, air refueling thing out front. Um, a very cool looking uh, helicopter. So let's take a look. As far as the uh, the detail, um, again, it has a nice uh, camo. Uh, color scheme to it which is very cool so there you have the uh, Air Force uh, logo right there um, this is the only Itolari model so far that I've owned that I feel like this one is a little fragile on um, this it is die cast but it has more plastic components to it so I feel like these uh, it, um, external fuel tanks they might snap off kind of easy same thing with the big uh, air uh, refueling tube there I feel like that might snap off easy because that is not die cast. I'm taking a look at the front, so you have the big uh, kind of uh, sensor on the belly there and then on the nose. Um, the cockpit obviously is uh, all glass there. Um, the top is nicely detailed. I like the uh, rotors, how it has the kind of little writing or little decals on the, uh, the rotors there, so that's very cool. I'm looking at the side, again nice detail. Uh, all around the helicopter. I wish the uh, doors were open and they sculpted in like a little uh, you know machine gun or a door gunner. That would be kind of cool uh, but unfortunately the doors are shut on this one. Taking a look at the back, again the back has some nice detail. Um, we do have another uh, decal US Air Force with the identifying numbers. I also like if you zoom in real close you can see all the uh, individual rivets are sculpted in. So that's very nice. Um, let me take it off the stand real quick. Again, this one, uh, just because there is more plastic uh, than die cast, just be careful if you do find this one. Here's the underside. So again, they went uh, with the camo all the way under and gave it some detail. Um, I believe those are more sensors. Uh, it could be on the underside, those fins there. I could be wrong though. Then you have the red light there. Um, there is the two exhausts. So those look nice. So again, I think a very cool uh, model. I do have, um, I have reviewed the just standard uh, Blackhawk uh, from Italari. I did like that model a lot. I do like this one a little more, but again, um, just the added uh, detail, the, the tanks and uh, the big refueling uh, tube here does seem fragile. So just be careful if you pick this up. Um, again, Italari is getting really hard to find. Um, I want to get you know most of the ones they make. The, the biggest one I want now, now that I have the F-35A, is I really want to get the F-15 Strike Eagle. So I'm hoping uh, my Italian seller that I buy through comes through. He's looking for that one because that's the uh, the big one on my list to get. Uh, after that, um, I do have more coming in. Um, I have the J-20, uh, the Chinese fifth generation fighter. I have the uh, Ka-52. Um, the Crocodile, the Russian attack helicopter, and then I think that's it as far as uh, Itolari models. So um, after that I just really want to get that Strike Eagle and I think I will have all the uh, Itolari uh, models that I want. Um, I do want the uh, the Russian Pak, uh, Pakfa, I think it is, that their um, fifth generation fighter. That one's kind of hard to find too. So again, enough rambling for now. Um, as far as this model, I would give this a 4 out of 5. 
just the negatives being I wish these were die casts rather than plastic because I feel like um, you know if you pick it up the wrong way you're gonna snap it off but definitely a very cool helicopter and uh, I'm glad that I got this model so hope everyone liked the video and thanks a lot for watching bye